Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can use the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator to graph parabolas from radical functions. So we're going to start off and we're going to do two examples here and we'll graph both of these in the calculator. Um, and so as you can see on the screen, we're going to use the, the online version of the TI-84 Plus CE, but you can follow along with this because this is exactly what you should have at, in the actual calculator, okay? So number one, we're going to look at one half times y squared is equal to x. So the key to graphing these in the calculator is we have to solve them for y, right? Because when we go to the calculator and we hit y equals, notice that in order for us to graph anything, we have to solve it for y, okay? So here I noticed that I could multiply both sides by two, and that's gonna get rid of that one half. So now we have y squared is equal to two x. Now to undo y squared, we're gonna take the square to both sides. But when we do that, we have to include positive or negative, right? So the two equations we're gonna graph, we're gonna say y1, we're gonna graph the square to two x, and y2, we're gonna graph negative square to two x. Okay, so those are the two equations we're gonna graph in our calculator. So we're already on y1, right? So we're gonna click over so we can make sure we're ready to type. And we're gonna do second x squared to get our square root. And we're just gonna type in two x. Okay, now go down to y2. And we're gonna do negative, which is down here at the bottom next to enter, right? It is not the subtraction button. If you click that, you're gonna get an error. So negative, and then same thing, second x squared. And then we have two x, all right? So we can hit graph here and notice that we see our parabola, okay? So we can notice a couple things. Our vertex is located at the origin and our parabola is opening to the right, okay? All right, so that's how we can graph a parabola on the calculator from a radical function. Let's do another one. So same operations here, negative one-fifth times y squared is equal to x. So let's multiply both sides by negative five to get rid of that fraction. So now we have y squared is equal to negative five x Take the square root of both sides once again. So y is equal to positive and negative square root of negative five x. So once again in the calculator, y1, we're gonna graph the square root of negative five x, and y2, we're gonna graph negative square root of negative five x. Okay, so those are the two equations we're gonna graph. So let's go back to y equals, and I'm gonna leave my, my square root in there, and I'm just gonna kinda type over it. So negative five x for y1, and negative square root of negative 5x for number two. And we hit graph, and once again, there's our parabola. So we can say our vertex, once again, is at the origin, and now our parabola is opening to the left, okay? So we graphed two sideways parabolas, right? So these wouldn't be functions, um, so that's why uh, we're just calling it a parabola and not a quadratic, right? Because that's what a parabola typically is. Um, but that's when our parabola opens up or down, okay? So that's how you can use the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator to take a radical function and graph a parabola.